guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and a little mini review on the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. This has been out for a little bit, um, not too, too long, but I just recently got it and you guys said that you wanted to see tutorials and maybe a review on it. So I thought that I would like throw it all together into one video for you guys. I do already have a blog post on this palette. So if you want to see more like still shots and more pictures of swatches and things, I'll leave that link down below for you guys. But a little mini review on it. I absolutely love this palette. I think it is so cute. I mean, the packaging is adorable. It's very like dessert inspired with the macaroons, macarons, however you say that word, I don't know, on the front of it. So it's very like dessert, sweet kind of a themed. I just love it. And then you open it up and it's got all these fun bright colors, which is just, it's just perfect for this time of year and just a cute palette. It's a cute palette. But you also do have some neutral colors that you can make some neutral looks with it, like a brown, burgundy, kind of like peachy shades, kind of a nice cream color. I mixed these two um, to make kind of like a nice warm crease color. So you can make a wearable look out of this palette, but also you've got so many bright colors for some really fun looks too, which is great. Today's look is kind of in between. It's kind of like a little bit neutral, but then we've got some pops of color, so it's somewhere in the middle. But these um, shadows are all nicely pigmented. They blend really well together. They perform nicely. Uh, Malted Milk Ball is the only one that's a little bit of a problem. It was a little patchy and took some building, but it's nothing terrible, but it's kind of the one out of the palette that's not super amazing. Everything else is really, really nice. Let me show you some swatches real quick. Okay, so here are some swatches for you. So you can see they are all just really nicely pigmented beautiful shadows. This bottom row right here doesn't show up super well on my skin tone, but those just make some really great um, lid colors or brow bone highlights. Mixed with some of these other colors, they become great crease shades. I mean, you do have some colors for um, deepening up your outer corner. I do feel like this palette really has everything that you need to make some really great looks or some really bright, fun, colorful looks, which it's just a good time, you know? I mean, this one right here, that just makes me happy. Or this pink, those are so stinking pretty. I love them. So I highly recommend this palette. I think it's so much fun. Perfect for this time of year. Really great quality. I love it. So this is the eye look that we're going to be doing now. Um, it's a really kind of in-between look. It's a little bit wearable, but also a little bit fun because you've got some pops of color on the lower lash line. I really like it. I think it's just kind of a, a good representation of this palette because it's kind of in the middle, got some neutral tones, but also some fun colors as well. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Today I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Now per usual, I'm going to take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top half of my lids just to cancel out any kind of discoloration or redness or anything. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded and apply that to my lids just as my base for the shadows that we're going to be using. Now I'm going to take my Sugar Pop palette I'm going to get some of Peach Fuzz and mix that with a little bit of Macaroon on a Coastal Sense. This is a BRCN08 brush. I don't know, it's some kind of like a crease brush. And I'm just going to apply this into my crease and transition area and really blur and blend this line out. Now I'm going to take some of Rock Candy on a Sigma Concealer F70 brush and apply that to the inner half of my lids. I'm gonna get some of bubble gum on a Delium Tools 781 brush. Tap that off and I'm going to apply that into my outer crease and blend this into that crease color. So outer corner over into the crease. I think I called it my outer crease. I don't know. Outer corner, outer crease, whatever. Just do a lot of blending to get everything to seamlessly transition. take some kind of a small crease brush. This is one from CVS that's been discontinued, but just anything that you have that's kind of this sort of a shape, a pencil brush or something, get some of Blackberry. 
And we're gonna put some of this in our outer corner just to deepen up that outer corner. And really just blend that into that pink and softly bring it into your crease, but we really wanna concentrate this in our outer corner. go back in with any of those other colors that you feel like you need to bring back the vibrancy or do more blending and just go back in with those with the original brushes. Then for my brow bone I'm going to take a little combo of peach fuzz and rock candy and I'm using very little on just a no-name brush and apply that. Now I'm going to tighten my upper lash line with my Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal in black and line my lower lash line with the same pencil in brown. Now for a little pop of color on my lower lash line, I'm going to get some of Sugared Violet on a Sedona Lace EB21 and apply that. heard that thud noise that was Chester jumping off the window. He weighs 12 pounds now, so makes quite a thud when he jumps off of something. And then for the upper lash line, you can really do whatever you want. You can do like a smudgy black liner or a smudgy even purple liner or something like that, but I'm just going to go traditional and use my Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black, do a little um, bit of a line and then a little wing just because that's what I love to do. And then just curl your lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara, and then the Clump Crusher as well. And then I feel like I want just a little bit more color with this look. You could totally leave it just like this, but I'm going to add something else. I'm going to get a little bit of Blue Raspberry on that same EB21 brush from Sedona Lace and apply that to my lower lash line, kind of like in the middle part, and then bringing it to my inner corner. Just for a little bit more fun and color. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. So now I'm gonna tell you what I used on the rest of my face. So I will list my foundation, concealers, and powder down below that I'm wearing so you can know that information. But for my contour and highlight, I'm wearing my IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. I love this thing. These powders are such nice quality. They blend like a dream on your face. This is like one of those do-it-all kind of contour and highlight palettes. I mean, if you're light complected like me, you can even use this one as a blush, which is really pretty. I mean, this highlight like makes me want to cry. It's so pretty. It is just so light and beautiful and a little bit icy, but kind of like champagne. It's awesome. I love it. You need that. And then um, blush, I'm wearing my Benefit Coralista blush. This is really pretty because it's a wearable color, but it's also like peachy and fun. So it's kind of in between. It still gives your, your face some color. So it pairs nicely with a colorful eye look, but it's not too much that it's so much makeup and just like taking away from the eye look or anything like that. It's a really nice in between kind of a color. And then for my lipstick, I'm wearing Max Sunny Soul, a really pretty kind of like peachy pink. It's a little bit glossy. And again, it's not over the top. Um, it has a little bit of color, but it's still neutral enough to pair nicely with this eye look. All right guys, so that was the tutorial and my little mini review on the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this palette and what kind of colors you've been pairing together. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!